Hey everybody, 3KO Games here. We've got a couple of new updates in Empires and Puzzles today to talk about. So let's first look at this August 2024 balance update. Very small, um, but maybe you have a hero that is affected, so let's take a look. Um, first of all, if you have any ninja heroes, the family bonus is buffed so that it used to be you had to have at least two ninjas on a team to get a chance to dodge two three unique members five to ten percent chance to dodge normal attacks and special skills and five to ten percent chance to counter attack with 60 or 90 percent of the damage received they have buffed that so that even with one ninja hero you are getting a chance that same chance to dodge and that same chance to um counter attack that's great I was never lucky enough to pull most of the ninjas when they were um, when they were really uh, fashionable. I have Topaz. Oh, I do have I have Serendite too, but pretty much I got a bunch of other reds at that same time. Some newer ones and uh, Serendite's just still still waiting on the bench. Um, but anyway, I use Topaz, and now she'll have a chance by herself to dodge and get counterattack. Hooray! Uh, Moonbell from the Astral Elves is getting an, uh, a buff here. Very slight increase in stats. Um, just 9 points in attack and defense. Um, 25 points in health. And um, a little bit more of, of this damage buff against boosted health. Um what didn't really impress me about Moonbell is just like the classic minion thing. Um, I faced Moonbell in a uh, in a war recently, and it was just like, oh, just classic minions. Like I can just so I had a minion remover and uh, I think Vera or something like that, and it, absolutely no problem. Um, Vera was up, so Moonbell never got any minions. So. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, hey, we have some buffs for August Heroes of the Month. Um, Ares is getting a little bit of a heal over time increase. The costume is getting a um, counterattack increase and health boost increase. Hooray. Drake Fong, both original and costume, are getting 30% increase in direct damage. So if you've got Drake Fong still using him, congratulations, hitting a little harder. Zok, direct damage increased by just 20%, not 30%, <laughs> because we all know Zok is just too good. That's weird. Um, why wouldn't you give him the 30% everybody else is getting? Poor Zok, I fed him away. I had him at 370, and then I fed him away during Soul Exchange. Um, Shikarazat, Shikazrat, I don't know how to say that, um, direct damage in increased by four, uh, by 30, and duration of the status ailments are increased from four to five turns, they're gonna need a heck of a lot more of a buff to make slow speed Shikazrat more worth it. We see more... Of these 30% increases for Tahir on uh, direct damage, but the max damage goes up even higher, 45%. And Ithar, who people still definitely use um, with that, uh, I think she steals mana or buffs or something like that. Uh, attack buff is increased from th plus 30 to plus 35%. So very small balance changes, nothing earth shattering. Uh, I think the ninja family thing is pretty nice. Um, let me know what you think about that. But then we're going to take a look at this version 69 release that I just uh, updated my phone to. Um, okay. The Hero Academy 10 retraining will include these heroes as well. Um, not bad. Some of these heroes are, are, are still worth it. Tinsel's still great. Alucard against minions. Uh, Louis for, for that big uh, dispel is great. Um, 
Okay. Harvest Festival Summon. We're going to get a new summon, new portal. With costumes included. With a chance to uh, summon heroes from all events. No classic heroes. And includes two new heroes from the upcoming Fox family. And, there, and this summon has a chance to receive extra draws for each summon you make. Up to nine extra draws per summon. That's wild. I don't know exactly how that works, but um, I'll be excited to try it. Ninja Tower Returns. Ah, this is why they are buffing the ninja family. Um, no classic legendary heroes in this summon. Yes. And we now know that the ninja family bonus applies to one, two, three members instead of just two, three. Third bullet point, important. New passive skill, resist negative minion effects. That's big. That's really great. Not all effects. It doesn't. It isn't um, Lunar New Year family erase all effects. Um, but that's pretty great. And we've got a couple new Ninja Heroes. I don't know anything about those, but stay tuned, and I will definitely do a video when they come out. Um, also, a new family called the Woodland Fawns. I'm not sure exactly when this is coming out. Um, but these will be pretty strong just by looking at these passives. A, uh, a chance to resist mana reductions and status ailments, at least 50% with one hero. They res resist attack reduction, uh, which includes status ailments, stacks, and wither. You can't wither this, this family's attack down. Interesting. And they also resist insanity. Just based on these passives and family bonuses, this is going to be a strong family. So I can't wait to see what Saskia, Verity, Tamlin, and Peregrine are doing. And when that whole event or, or summon or whatever comes out. Contest of Elements will now in featuring slimes with uh, some new slime heroes. All right, improvements and fixes. I usually just skip this. However, you take a look at the third bullet point here. Shifting into ghost form or its variants now also removes and resists wither and growth effects. Is that something that's going to affect Oh, uh, Lepiota? Because uh, it is rumored, well, pretty well sure, that Lepiota will be featured in the next Faded Summon. Um, definitely a reason to go for her. I will have a video coming about, out about Faded Summon in the next couple days. But if Lepiota can now... Um, remove the growth effects from her opponents when they shift into ghost form. That's pretty awesome. Um, there are some like four stars that shift into ghost form themselves. And I guess that would remove the wither from them, but also the growth. Yeah. If you, you use Lepiota, then would it would also remove the wither. If you've put some wither on the, on the enemy, is it just a clean slate? like a Snow White version of, um, or Annabelle version of uh, ailments and um, buffs? Not sure. We will have to see how that works in the, in the coming days. Um, the rest is all not that interesting. So anyway, we have version 69 and the August balance update. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you for checking out the channel, as always. And we'll see you next time.